Hi, welcome to this lesson where we'll be learning how to record the voiceover for your project. There are two basic methods you can use to record your voiceover. Either you build your scribe first and then build your voiceover to fit the timings of the scribe, or you record your voiceover first and then build your scribe to fit the timings of your voiceover. In almost all cases we recommend the second method as this means the voiceover will be more natural and flowing and you can then set the timings for all your elements so they're in sync with your voiceover. But for simple projects that you want to get done very quickly, the first method can also be useful. So we're going to be focusing on the second method here. I've already got my script here, which I prepared as part of the planning stage. You can see I've split this into sections. and I plan to pause for about a second between each section to allow time for the camera to move to the next area. So let's get back to our project. In the previous lesson, we selected a music track. So to record the voiceover, we need to select this next icon here. The first thing you'll need to do is select the microphone. You can use the internal mic on your computer if it has one, but it's a really good idea to use an external microphone for better quality. Next, you can see that by default, it's going to preview my scribe while I'm recording. This is useful if you're using the first method and you've already built your scribe, but I'm gonna uncheck this as we won't need it this time. I think it's a good idea to start by recording a draft voiceover, which means you don't need to worry about getting it perfect at this stage. You may also find you have ideas and make changes while you're creating your scribe, so you can then re-record your final version once everything is settled. So next all we need to do is get ready and then click this record button. Here we go. Set yourself off in the right direction. Here's a quick guide to staying healthy to help you look after your body and your mind. Eating a healthy balanced diet is an important part of maintaining good health. Try to eat at least five varied portions of fruit Breathe faster and feel warmer. Start taking positive steps to look after your physical health and your mental well-being. And when you've finished, click on the stop icon. And then you'll need to wait while your recording is processed. You can play back your recording here. And if you're not happy with it, then you can delete it and try again. And I can now see here that my scribe is going to be 1 minute and 10 seconds long. You can set the volume of the voice over here, but I'm going to leave this at full volume and then I'm going to accept this. Now let's preview this to hear what it sounds like with the music track. If you don't have any elements in your scribe at this stage, you'll need to add one before it will allow you to preview, but you can add anything for now. Set yourself off in the right direction. Here's a quick guide to staying healthy. OK, so straight away we can hear that the music track is too loud. So let's go in here and reduce the volume. From my experience, I know we'll need to take this down to around 5 to 10% here. So let's try that again. Set yourself off in the right direction. Here's a quick guide to staying healthy to help you look after your body and your mind. OK, that sounds much better now. Another option you have is you can record your voiceover outside VideoScribe using a phone or your own audio software, such as Audacity, which is free. You'll need to be able to save it in MP3 format, and then you can simply import it into VideoScribe. So from the voiceover screen, you can see we have these two import icons here, just like in the music screen. They're greyed out now, as we already have a voiceover, so we'd need to delete this if we wanted to use them. But just like in the music screen, you can use these to import an MP3 file from your local machine or from a URL. So now that we've added our voiceover, let's save our project. OK, so that's it for this lesson. We've learned how you can record a voiceover for your project. And we've now completed this section of the course on working with audio. Don't forget you can download this updated version of the Scribe file from within this section of the course.